Good morning, this is Sibbe Blood. I hear uh, a lot of uh, New Age nuts preaching about uh, self-love and self-realization. And uh, they're trying to love themselves unconditionally. But uh, there is nothing in this world as unconditional love. Love is always subjective. So to to try to love yourself uh, while you're not worthy of love that's not a way to exaltation or illumination the the proper way is to make yourself so good that you deserve your own love and you cannot you cannot trick yourself you cannot trick the divine self that is the ultimate judge of when to let the holy power <laughs> as ascend on a person or not that is the inner self and the inner self is the ultimate guardian of the holy powers so we cannot fool this inner self with uh, fake self-love We must be satisfied, so satisfied with ourselves that we truly, with the whole of our heart, love ourselves. Everything else is, is self-deception and it leads man on the, on the wrong path. So it's important to be honest to yourself and to your feeling and not trying to create some feeling that's not there that's where most people go wrong uh, they, they want to get the result but they have no idea how to, to get there and, and they grasp anything desperately to to try to get there but it's a long way it's the, the, the way of self work there's no quick solutions but you can snap your finger and love yourself self love come when we accomplish things with ourselves Let's say we, we stop smoking cigarettes or we stop eating harmful food or with harmful behaviors or th things that, that was hard, that we accomplished and made us grow. Everything. And when we are humble, when we do right, we develop a, a sense of self-worth and self-love. If we're not satisfied with ourselves, we're, we're on the run. We are desperados, we are criminals, spiritual criminals on the run <laughs> that are confused. So all these fake positivists who deal with fake self-love they are very confused very confused and what, what they're going for 
is the optimal egoism and they create the alter ego that is perfect and always feel good and they start to live in that projection that projection of their fears and become the, the, the maximum egoist who are blinded totally by the ego so that is the danger with false self-love self, real self-love must come out of grace So you must find the power to find yourself and to realize yourself and that is to know yourself. When you know your true self then you will love yourself because your true self is love. It's connected with the greatest love, with the greatest force. So that's the only way to be really in love with yourself, in complete exaltation, is to find the true self. And you can find the true self when all the false selves, so to say, all the, the false identity are removed so it's better to be calm an honest person than someone who claim to have the biggest self-love in the world it's better to be calm and observant and let the power grow in you out of authenticity out of realness and not that something that your fantasy can make up but don't get me wrong thoughts are important thoughts emotions are keys to let the power flow faith are key to letting the power flow so we can't deny this we don't deny this but what we warn you about is the is the unreal fake self-love that make you sick that make your mind sick and that uh, gets you in the wrong direction from where, where you want to go with your spiritual search so this is a reminder to to be real and to love yourself when you're worth it and to love yourself your true self which is power this is the reminder for today so don't indulge in this bombastic, fantastic, egoistic, harmful self-love but be a real person with two feet on the ground grounded and real that is the way all right take care everybody see you soon bless
Nothing left.